Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to be checking out Cassette Beast. It's a demo on the Steam Next Fest from October 2nd until the 10th. Uh, this game is made by Bitten Studio, published by Raw Fury. It's not coming out until 2023. We're going to check out about 15 minutes of gameplay today. It is a creature collector, kind of like Pokemon, mixed with like Digimon, I would say. Um, it's pretty cool. I checked it out last night on stream, so we'll just uh, hop in and see what's up. We're going to start over on a new game. Sure. Yeah, we'll just we'll just random that. Be a pink haired dude. So the first thing I noticed was the graphics are uh, pretty charming. Pretty awesome graphics. Come over here, we'll tame some wood. I don't really know if there's like a base building aspect. You seem to like get a lot of like wood and stone and things, but during my playthrough I didn't notice anything like that. Come meet our homie, get attacked. Don't make any sudden moves. Rapid crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. We got a Walkman! Fuck yeah! What's your aesthetic? So I went spooky last time. I think I'm gonna go sweet this time. That just gives you your starter Pokemon, essentially. Uh, some information about it. If you raise the tape to five stars, you unlock more information, assuming that it's like its habitat and stuff. Bootlegs, I believe, are different typings of the same monster. I'm not sure how rare those are. I haven't encountered any of those yet. So you transform into your monsters, which is pretty cool. Get wrecked. All right. Let's skip this dialogue because I don't, I don't care about none of that right now. The story is actually pretty good. Uh, it's like kind of like heartwarming and cuddly, I guess. You know, everyone on this island has lost their memory. Essentially, uh, they're all from different times, I guess. I'm not really sure about the story. It doesn't really go into like too much detail. They're essentially telling us that we're not on Earth. We're like stuck somewhere in between time. There's no sprint. As far as I can tell, anyway. Jumping seems to work well. Oh. Hmm. We gotta get over there, sure. So I did check out some things when I played last night. Um, the demo's pretty straightforward, though, so we'll just kind of progress through that. Show off the combat. Lowers evasion. Cool. The green bar is like your Pokemon's health versus the red bar as it's as your health. You have to like de-transform in order to capture things. Now we gotta come over to this elevator. I never noticed that there was like a campfire here. Not sure why the elevator's not working. There's a switch somewhere. Ah, yes, yes. That's right here. I did not know about this before, but I guess we'll camp. It costs wood to camp. Ha! Huh. As you spend time with your characters, like these dudes here, for instance, you'll uh, like increase your bond with them, and that's important for two reasons. Um, one of them being so that you can do like more special attacks and things. Okay, apparently I have to go some other direction, and not the way I want to go. Well, you have to go this way, I guess.
Let's get this little guy over here. Okay. And this is how you capture stuff, essentially. So I'll go to record this guy. And then we have to fight him. So as I mentioned, the red bar is your health. Uh, when you're in this mode, not in this battle essentially, but when they hit you, they hit your health. So if you die, then all of your monsters die with you. Cool, we got a moss. Get fucked, moth dude. Some monsters give us, like, um, abilities, essentially. So this guy gives us wings. Sorry. Stuff happens. Things are breaking. Yeah, I don't want to fight you. I'll just skip you. Get fucked, guy. So there was a monster right there that you see briefly. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's part of the story. It doesn't really tell you much about that. And in, in here, I didn't explore as much as I could have. But we will meet the the one thing. Scary. Scary boy. There's a scary boy on over here. This place smells like burning metal. I got an automaton. What is that? Stickers and moves. Oh, this is new. Chance to use the next move in the list for zero AP at the end of the turn. Apply to. I cannot apply. Okay. So we'll come over here. This is going to teach us about the other feature of the game. And that's pretty much it for the demo. But I'm really excited for this game. I'm really into creature collectors. And uh, this seems like a good one. So this is like a god, essentially. Broken god. Let's see if we can get a call for help going on. I'm just going to go all out. Raise up the dodge here. Whenever he reaches 10 attack points up in the top right there, he's going to unleash some badass attacks. So we either have to kill him before that or build a defense to survive. Uh, and sometimes, if your bond is strong enough, apparently, you can combine two creatures into one and they become something else entirely. And for when I chose Spooky, like I got a completely different creature than what you're seeing here. So every creature in the game can actually have a fusion. And when that happens, you gain all of their moves for whatever reason. And I don't know, like, I'd rather have three creatures than two creatures, but, you know, it's fine. We're supposed to win this fight, it seems, so we'll just keep uh, hitting them with the bonbons. We almost just died. You can now glide for three seconds. Now that thing is going to show us how to get home, essentially. We absorb the power of some demon angel thing. It sings us a song. Then we come back here and we talk about the transformation thing and so we gain a relationship level and can now fuse at any point. Apparently we can rest there. Hey. So what 
in a bowl. <sighs> That's like Team Rocket, I assume. The name's Eugene. This might be our rival. I don't really know. So it gives us a quest, and then it breaks it. And that's the whole demo there. Uh, so that'll be it. That's Cassette Beast. Uh, it doesn't come out until next year again. I'll have links in the description if you want to give this a try for yourself. And uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys will stick around because there's much more to come.